Uh, just broke all the uh, clutch uh, cover bolts loose. We'll throw a bit of extra light on. I don't know if that helps at all. Let's see, there we go. Uh, I've labelled this number one up here, and I'm going to take these out and put them in my little egg crate. Okay, that I got from my just idea from Motorcycle Consumer News. These are all broken loose. I crisscrossed the pan breaking them loose. I'm not sure of how, how many of these bolts are. Uh, same length but I'm going to just basically take them out one by one until I can examine them all. I've got photographs of this guy where this guy is for the fairing mount. Here again is has a, a machine surface and has a crush washer on it. Catch tabs down just in case, just to catch the worst of the oil. I got me a little plastic cup and let's see if I can pry this guy off the other cup. Okay, I'll just try and keep the gasket fairly good with a little bit of oil in there. Not bad at all. Okay, it's fairly dry. Okay, now made a uh tracing on an envelope of the uh, clutch cover and punched holes in it and put all the bolts in it so I know exactly where they go when it's time to reassemble. I'm going to take the five clutch bolts off. One, two, I already, already done a couple. I've done a couple. Three, four, five. Alright, I'm just going to spin those off now. Okay, now I'll start taking the pressure plate off. I'm just going to cut that paper towel down, nice clean surface for it to lay on until I get this off. Yeah, it looks like we're going to pull the whole pack out all in one foul swoop. Look at that. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, it looks like there's maybe one or two friction plates stuck back there. Let me see if we can get those out of a magnet. I'm not sure whether they're aluminum. of metal rings coming out next. That's kind of unusual. I've not seen anything like that. Okay. Well, it's not we got one. I guess there's a friction plate back there but He's not going to come out right now because he is way back there and he's aluminum so I can't get him out. Okay. Guess that's the clutch center. I'm going to put him in there. Okay. I'll wipe our hands where I shouldn't. I've already spin this puppy off. Now this will get interesting because I'm going to try and spin this off with a power gun rod because I don't have, I don't believe I've got a good clutch holding tool but let me go check out I usually buy a lot of tools but who knows okay I got a motion pro clutch tool I thought I had one found it I don't use it very often so this will be a first I am going to try manually to undo this puppy I don't know how successful I will be nope uh, I probably need someone else to hold it while but there we go, she spun it rough. I think a couple more hits. There we go. How easy was that? Okay, now it's interesting. The uh, the nut actually has a collar on the inside. Okay, there's also a washer. Well, I'm going to double check that. I imagine that is the way it came off. I assume it is. Okay, there's another washer. Keeping these lined up. 
Come on, guy. Now let's put those down for a second. just does not want to be helpful. Okay, let's see if I can entice him with a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of, come on, come on, there we go, keep those like that. That's a bevel washer, it's got a uh, out on here. I'm going to put those together and I'm going to zip tie those in the order they came off so I know exactly how to put them back on. And drop those down over that. Actually, going to zip tie the entire clutch pack together in the order everything came out the engine. Okay, so it keeps it all. If you can, can see that, but basically that whole pack is all zip tied together. That's everything off. I'm going to go put that in storage over here. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any metal contamination on that whatsoever, which is good. Alright. Should be able to pop those off. And in theory, this guy should come off. Okay. There's a basket, give that a wipe with a clean rag. Okay. And this guy is interesting. Okay, looks like there's a little big washer there. Come on. Yeah, I wiggle the hub a little bit and you withdraw this clutch bear and it was tight. It kind of sits in there and it looks like it's got a bit of an air ring or something and it pulls out past that. So that pulls out. Okay. And then this guy. Let's see what's holding him in. Oh, it's just heavy. It looks like almost like a traditional clutch. Okay, he's out. And again, let me put a piece of clean towel down and put him on. Okay. Oops, there's the big bearing. Sits in it. Big center bearing. Okay. Put that there. I guess that's the bearing. That rides in the bearing. It goes that washer. It goes the clutch housing. And I'm going to again zip tie all that lot together in the order it all came out. There's everything. I'm just going to and a zip tie through to keep every, all the parts in the order in which they came out. So I'm going to need two zip ties. Should be good enough. Okay, that keeps, keeps the bearing everything all in place.